Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is August 3rd, 2017, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, lots of things coming out on the GBP. So we're starting out at 1030 South African time, services PMI number. That is a major number, okay? But in relation to this one o'clock number that's coming out South African time, it pales in comparison. So I think things are going to be a little bit quiet until we have this one o'clock number, which is an official bank rate. That's really the most important out of the three that is coming out. Uh, there's going to be a press release. There's going to be a bunch of stuff that's coming out at one o'clock. But the most important thing is the official bank rate, which is an inflationary number. It's a interest rate number. It's everything all rolled up into one. So that's really a major number that you should keep an eye on. At four o'clock South African time, we have ISM non-manufacturing PMI number, which I think will really pale in comparison to what's going on in the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, the Dow Jones is all-time highs, really propelled by Apple and Boeing. Okay, stellar results, great earnings. The economy is booming away uh, at full speed ahead. Um, and so, you know, things are just looking up for the markets in the U.S. Now, this can all change in a dime, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, lack of confidence in the markets and things could change but at this stage right now okay everybody's asking me when are we going to actually turn when are we going to correct itself at this stage right now we're going up so you should be thinking up not fighting the tape not starting shorting and finding the highest point where the Dow Jones is going to be and then shorting it. That's not the play, okay? That is not the play. I'm saying it twice. I'm saying it three times. I've been saying it for the past week. You have to find, you know, for entry points on the upside because that's working, okay? And we're slowly just, you know, we're going up 50 points and then boom, we go up another 200 points. And, and we really don't give up. And so take that into consideration. Tomorrow, a major U.S. number coming out. At 2.30 South African time, non-farm payroll, and that should take effect into the markets as well. So let's see what's been going on in the actual market. So we're going to start here with the Euro USD. It looks like it's flattening out at the top of this rate right here at 118.50-ish level. Okay, uh, we hit a high of 119-ish yesterday, uh, but you know, taking a little bit of a breather. Again, I don't know that this is going to correct itself until I see some sort of confirmation that it's going to correct itself so i'm still thinking by you know at this stage you know i'm even thinking that in a year from now we'll see ourselves corrected to 130 uh 127 126 ish level i mean at this rate we're really going so fast uh that we could really propel and make this correction all the way back to this to this area uh in 122 ish 123 ish level uh so we've been saying that okay now day to day what's the play okay if you look here every time we've retraced we've gone up higher we retraced we've gone up higher okay uh so take that into consideration that's still the play every time you have an opportunity for this to retrace a little bit a pullback jump into it on the long side we've been saying this for over a week um and, you know, kicking myself in the bands for not getting a little, even a little bit bigger and a little bit more aggressive on the upside. We're looking here at the GBP USD. Now, we've got this major number coming out at 2 o'clock South African time later today. Now, if you look here, we've actually flatlined with this 132, 39-ish level right about here. Okay. Uh, now, this is your go-to breakout point. Okay, if we do have positive news coming out of the UK, things will, you know, move it in a direction that will correct itself. Now, remember, we still have a lot to correct itself right here. So, you know, on the upside, we have a further uh, uh, resistance level and about 100 pips above this at 133.30 ish level, as you can see here. So that will be my really my go to area if we do break this on the outside. OK, now this is relatively strong. OK, it hasn't been the leader here in the sector against the U.S. dollar. The euro has been much stronger, but this can play catch up today. OK, depending on the news that's coming out. So I'd look at this very carefully. You're looking at gold. We're retracing here because of what's going in the markets. 1260 um, a trading at right now. And we're at the support level 1260. If we do break it, we could further go down to 1255. So keep an eye on that as well. Now, looking at the Dow Jones, all times high, 21,944. We closed the day yesterday at 21,22,000. And like I said, you know, every time there's a pullback, the play is up. OK, now maybe some people would like to take some money off the table at this stage uh, as we enter 
the balance of the summer here going into September. Uh, so keep an eye on that as well. If you know, I wouldn't look to buy this at this stage, but I wouldn't look to short it either. Okay, so just be careful on the downside as well. The DAX as well, dead in the waters, which means that the DAX is showing a lot of negative pull here on the downside. So if there was something I would look to short, it would really be the DAX, uh, as this is looking like it's making itself, you know, uh, develop a downward trend. Okay, so my, I'm very bearish on the Dow, on on the DAX, and bullish still on the Dow, or really flat on the Dow as things progress. This is Fred Rays. I can see him trading. Want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.